uh, gas prices, you know, uh, <laughs> ozone level, uh, emissions, I mean, it all figures in. I build it for a, a commuter car only. I can't take a trip in it because it won't go that far. Yeah. Uh, I live about 14 miles away from work here. And uh, I, I planned it, and it looks like it does it. It's done it two or three times anyway. A trip from home to here, back home, and then back here, and then I plug it in. It was a week ago Friday that I put the windshield in it. And after I put the windshield in it, I had to test it. <laughs> you know, I wasn't ready, but I had to test it. So. Yeah. Well, what was that like that first time you took it out? Exciting. <laughs> Just plain exciting. <laughs> it's unique. I, I like it. I'm kind of proud of it. Uh, uh, you know, people are excited about it. People are always asking questions, you know, like, how'd you do it? Where'd you, you, know, where'd you get this? And where'd you get that? And what's this? And what's that? And what does this do? You get on the internet and you find people that have done it before and find the people, you know, their questions and answers and what's going on. And a lot of research went in it, you know. Basically, the smaller the better, okay? But a car like this, the old Mazda, has been converted before a number of times. And so I had a lot of people out there I could ask questions about. In here, I have six of my, my 10 batteries, okay? They're 12 volt batteries, and the, the motor is a 120 volt motor, so I need 10 of them. Okay, here's six. My charger is over here in the corner. Then under the hood, I have four more batteries plus the original 12 volt battery. This is the motor we're talking about down here. And it's bolted through an adapter plate right to the original transmission. That's a, that's a charge indicator, a battery indicator, what kind of condition they're in. And up the top, it's lit, it's fully charged. And as you drive and it goes down, well, it drops down. This plate here, you know, I mean, that's, that's cut and mounted special to the, to the firewall. To, to hold the controller, the, uh, the contactor, and my DC circuit breaker here. Okay, and that that little that little mess right there is my own design on how to trip the circuit breaker if I think I need it while inside the the cab. You know, I hate to say it because they jump on it when I say it, but it's very very similar to a golf cart, electric golf cart. Okay, but it's I've had it 65 miles an hour on the four lane. You know, I've driven it to the speed limit every place I go. Uh, and so it's it's heavier and stronger and better than a golf cart, if you can get that idea. Uh, but yeah, I hope it catches on, because I, I really think someday they're going to have to go to electric or something other than, you know, gasoline.